Hello, this is Brian Johnson with the SEO Press 60 day affiliate challenge. This is assignment number two. We're going to touch base a little bit with assignment number one. We're going to talk about monetization with AdSense, what to look out for, what could foil your grand uh, affiliate uh, payload. Okay, we're going to talk about things to you need to be aware of. And we're going to talk about uh, the assignment number two and moving forward and launching your website. Okay, so AdSense. If you're just getting started and you're not really making any money, I think you, you would be smart to tackle AdSense because it's just a bit easier to make money with. And if, you, if we can get you to $100 a month, you will be so passionate, you will be so excited, you will be fueled with all kinds of excitement that will uh, spur you on to your next site. And if you can do it once, you can probably do it twice. It might take you three tries. In other words, maybe you'll launch another site. It won't quite work, but you will continue and you'll continue to add to your earnings and you'll see that success is possible. So AdSense is good, but there's a couple things I want to make you aware of when you're trying to monetize a website using AdSense. Now everyone talks about just how important it is to blend your ads with AdSense. And that's very, very true. You have to blend your ads. I'm not going to go into great detail because it's been talked about a trillion frickin' times. If you're not sure, search Google, search YouTube. You will find the information you need. I've actually got some videos on blending AdSense. So it's, it's around, just you're going to have to find that. But what people aren't talking about as much is the type of niche you target will greatly uh, affect your AdSense click-through rate. Now obviously if people aren't clicking and you have a low click-through rate, you're going to make less mon money. If people are clicking a lot and your click-through rate is here, then you make a heck of a lot more money. Click-through rate is paramount in making a lot of money. So there are certain niches online where the click-through rate is just going to be low, no matter how good of a job you do. And those kind of people are really technically sav savvy people. I like to call them the gadget freaks. So if you're thinking AdSense, stay away from the gadget freaks. What kind of a website might uh, target, might uh, you find a gadget freak on? Well, they love stuff about web browsers and internet and computer programs. And internet marketers are definitely gadget freaks. And I want to ask you, how many AdSense ads have you clicked on in the last three days? Not too many, huh? Because you know AdSense. So if you know AdSense, those other gadget freaks are going to know AdSense. And when you spend all that time on your site, they're going to land on your site. You're going to get the traffic. You're going to have that low click-through rate right here. Instead of the click-through rate like this, you know, this tall, you're not going to make the money you're after. So if you're just starting out, you want to use AdSense, you've got 10 or 20 niches. Look for the niche that's not really uh, within the gadget, the gadget freak sphere, and that's your, your best bet. Now, if you're kind of more intermediate and you're really passionate about some of those themes, then, then think you're going to need to monetize the site through affiliate programs. So find the affiliate program that makes sense for those niches and focus a lot less on AdSense. And, and just know that if you do your, use AdSense, you probably won't get that great of a click-through rate. In fact, you might at one time, you might just remove it later because you're not getting the click-through rate you're after. However, if you can provide exactly what the person's looking for and you're ranking for the terms you're targeting and you're able to provide links to affiliate uh, merchant sites that are offering that exact thing, people will buy, you'll make money, and you'll be happy. Okay, so we talked about monetization, we talked about AdSense. And you followed along and you've got at least uh, 10 to 20 niches online. So what I want you to do now with the, the information you have on AdSense, I want you to choose two, between two, or let's just say one and, and four niches. And then go ahead and take one of those, and that's your niche that you're most passionate about, you're most excited about, and I want you to register the domain name. Again, I'm going to repeat it here, guys. No dashes, and only register a .com, a .net, a .org, a .biz, or a .us. That's it. Those are the rules. Stick with the rules. We, want, we don't want to test concepts. These methods have been tested. They work. When you change stuff, we're kind of testing now because we're, we're not sure. So don't, te don't change. We're not going to test. We're going to make money. Okay, so that's... Uh, that's registering the domain. And then when you have three to five hours, you're going to install WordPress and you're going to do the following items. 
You're not going to do anything else. You're going to do these things and you're going to stop. And the reason you're going to do these things in this order is because we're after, we want to establish an amazing first impression with Google. So when the Google spiders come by, we want them to see a, a home page with tons of content. We want to make sure the, uh, the title tag is optimized. We want to make sure there's a good meta description. We want to make sure there's outbound links. So here's how we're going to do that. You're going to install WordPress, number one. Number two, you're going to switch over to an SEO press theme. You know, it doesn't really matter if it's the two column or the three column, to switch over to that theme. The reason you're doing that is because I've removed all the wording of WordPress and that's very important. Number three, you're going to go to the about page. Now every time you install WordPress, it creates an about page. All you're going to do is you're going to edit that page. Change the title from about to whatever your site is. So if your site is, uh, lithographed framed art, then you're going to change the about title to lithographed framed art. Then you're going to write a 600 word article right on that page. And in the last paragraph, you're going to link out to about five to eight websites that rank well for terms relating to art, lithographed prints, framed prints. It doesn't have to be exact either. Don't overdo it. Don't overcook your SEO. Just link out to stuff that, that relates to your theme. Uh, go ahead and pull up the LSI uh, categories video and watch that. And you might want to link out using some LSI terms. So if you don't know what that is, watch the video on LSI categories and you'll understand. So you're going to change the home page, about page. You're going to change the titles. You're going to make sure the title is strong. You're going to make sure there's a good meta description. You're going to write a 600 word article that is absolutely unique. I cannot stress how important this is. Make sure it's unique and then link out in the last paragraph. Don't worry about losing visitors at this point, okay? This method works well and you might lose some visitors, but if you do it this way and you get 900 visitors, and you, or let's say you get 1,000 visitors and you lose 100 to outbound links, you still have 900 visitors, which is represented by this big circle. Now, if you don't link out and you don't follow along, you might get uh, 100 visitors and you won't lose any of them, but I have, a, I have 900 visitors, Google loves me, you have 100 visitors. Who's going to make more money? Yeah, okay. So unique content and you're going to link out in the last paragraph to about five to nine sites. And lastly, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go to the links section of your admin and you're going to take about 15 uh, keyword phrases that people are searching for within your theme. So you're going to, you're going to uh, search for framed art in our example. And you're going to link out to a site that ranks well for framed art. Then you're going to, uh, you're going to search for posters for sale. Because posters probably relates pretty good to framed art and art. Then you're going to link out to posters for sale. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to search for a lithograph. You're going to find three or four sites that rank well. You're going to find a site you like in the top 10 and you're going to link out to lithograph. You're going to do this about 15 times. It's, impaired, it's, it's paramount that you link out to at least 10 to 20 websites. The bare minimal is 10. It's going to take a bit of time guys, but it's worth it. After this is done, you'll have a site that can make money for you, you for years and years. So let's do it right. So link out to about 10 to 20 sites using related terms. Create the content on the homepage and don't add any other posts. And you could also change the category to a keyword driven category. So that's assignment number two. It's, it's very, very important that you follow along to a T with this uh, part of the course here because we're getting to the part of launching the site and we have to have that strong first impression with Google. Monday we start with part three. Take care guys.